G'day everyone. It's hard to believe that we're now entering week 18 of the academic year. The first day of school in mid-August feels like a lifetime ago, and we are now mere weeks away from 2022. If the pandemic has taught us anything, it's that learning on a campus is a gift. Davison Day is a special place and we have phenomenal people throughout our community. It's been hard navigating the school year in a pandemic. However, the reward is spending time with your children and that makes every challenge worthwhile. Thank you for all your support and partnership this semester. We needed to go fully virtual in the week leading up to winter break in 2020. So we are thankful to be on campus this week. Unfortunately, we've seen a 55% increase in COVID cases in Mecklenburg County over the past two weeks. We will continue to track metrics in our area over the winter break and monitor the evolving guidance in the Strong Schools NC Public Health Toolkit. We ask that all families be cautious as they return to campus after winter break. There is predicted to be a sharp rise in cases early in the new year. We ask that families pay close attention to the Pick My Kid app questions and err on the side of caution if anyone in your household has COVID-like symptoms, no matter how mild, when classes resume on Tuesday, January 4th. Our team has worked diligently on several improvements inside the building and around our campus. Bringing projects like these to fruition involves much planning and can be a lengthy process. Initial efforts on all of these projects began last school year and involved many people from the Davidson Day community and outside industry professionals. I want to highlight some of these projects which we feel have enhanced and will further enhance the daily life and overall experience of our students, faculty, staff and families here at our school. At the start of the school year, our community returned to find a new look inside of the school. All classrooms, offices and common spaces were painted and now have a brighter, fresh look. We work with an interior design professional to develop a color scheme and palette of colors specifically designed for Davidson Day to coordinate with our existing logo and brand palette. Jay Morgan, CEO of Comstasis, our managed IT service provider, the board technology committee and the faculty and staff technology committee have worked on a number of technology improvements which included a Wi-Fi upgrade. New Wi-Fi installation occurred during the summer and fall, and we now have completely updated our access points and other equipment, giving us all reliable, stable, and super fast internet connections inside our building and even outside throughout the courtyard, which also extends to the field. Over the winter break, we are also upgrading our learning and enrichment center, so it is more conducive to supporting our learners. We anticipate this construction will com be completed early in the new year. Next, I want to share some exciting news about upcoming renovations to our school playgrounds. Due to the generosity of a group of Davidson Day families, we recently signed contracts to have our old playgrounds removed and two new playgrounds installed over the summer. Kudos to Mark Palmer, our donor advisor and director of development for his leadership and efforts to make these projects become a reality. These improvements will have such a positive impact on our early childhood, lower and middle school students. Thank you to all the families whose generous donations made these playground improvements possible. On Wednesday, December 15, Mrs. Phipps and her middle school band students will treat families to sounds of the holiday season in the Yates Gym. The fifth graders will perform at 5.15 p.m. and the sixth through eighth grade students will perform at 6.30 p.m. As a reminder, all visitors are required to wear masks while attending the performance. Our yearbook team continues to receive awards for their remarkable publications. In the recent Quill and Scroll 2021 Yearbook Excellence Contest, Davison Day earned three first, three second, and three third place awards. Congratulations to Mrs. Thomas and the entire yearbook team for their amazing work and achievements. We can't wait to see the 2022 yearbook. Also, congratulations to senior Logan Zucker for winning the 500 meter freestyle at the US Winter Junior Nationals in Greensboro. Logan also swam a leg on two championship relays as well. Finally, I want to wish all members of our Davidson Day community a relaxing and rejuvenating winter break. I hope you all have a magical time with your family and friends and we look forward to seeing you back on campus in 2022. Please take care of yourself and each other. Let's have a great week and a great winter break. Go Patriots! <laughs>